Well, hello everybody. My name is Gabriella Quinones, and welcome back to a video. Um, I have filmed so many videos, and you guys haven't seen any of them because I don't know what happens. Honestly, I don't know what happens. I get so excited to film something, and then I sit down and I film it. Um, I literally painted a $17 desk organizer and turned it into a brush holder for my makeup brushes and my paint brushes and it took three days seventeen dollars and I never uploaded the video um I also filmed countless vlogs stick mine has went off the trail to look for another stick nope he says um so many so many things I have filmed um like I can't even I really can't like I'm in the middle of making a um like a slate you know for film for my YouTube videos um and I haven't finished filming that and a lot of times I film things and then never end up editing them because I get overwhelmed or I straight up just don't like the idea anymore or I never finish filming them because I think that it's coming out really bad and stupid and ugly and I just give up on the whole video idea. So I usually the ones that end up getting posted are the ones that I film on the spot, edit on the spot, and then upload on the spot. But the ones that take me time to set up and to think about what I'm gonna say and think about what I'm gonna how I'm gonna edit it and you know it takes time to actually edit like the ones that actually take more time I guess I just psych myself out and think no one's gonna like this like why am I spending time filming this why am I wasting time editing this if no one's gonna like like it or watch it or enjoy it um, so I found comfort in filming you know, I do like to film. I do like to be in front of the camera. I do like to talk to the camera. Um, I mean, I do like editing. I mean, editing is time consuming and it's frustrating and sometimes I want to rip out my hair. But it is fun, you know, and it's really cool to film something and then edit it yourself and then just realize that you created something, you know. Um, it just, I don't know what happens between enjoying it and then uploading it that just makes me not want to upload it so I do enjoy filming it is like I guess like a type of therapy or something and it it's relaxing and it's soothing you know and I can be creative and a lot of stuff is happening outside of my window some guy is carrying cowboy boots into a car that's been parked outside of my house for like anyways um so yeah um i'm filming an intro to a video that may never see the day of light may never reach youtube it may never get to anybody and there's a lot of times where i'm like oh i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna make a video about like i'm gonna make a video on it so that way it motivates me to do that thing or it's like a reason to do that thing and it's like killing two birds with one stone you know I get to upload on YouTube and do something that I want to do and something that like really is fun I love making videos and I can also do something fun and stupid and creative or whatever um, but I like I like doing that but it's like I just don't know what happens I, I don't I don't know I just I guess I just get into my into my head where I where like like in high school like if you go through my channel that's whenever I was posting a lot I was very consistent I had zero followers I mean subscribers um, and no likes no views or anything and then I started um, posting about it on my snapchat and I started telling people about it and I was so proud that I was doing this thing and it was something that 
I like doing and I was doing it and I wasn't doing it well but I was doing it and then people from school started watching it um, started telling me that they were disliking it disliking videos just for the joke of it um, and that was upsetting because it wasn't like they just liked the video they just thought it would be funny and I guess it hurt my feelings and I would get people telling me that they were cringy, that they didn't like them, they were like, oh, well that one video wasn't that good, and, you know, and it was never any constructive criticism, it was never any, <sighs> am I about to cry on camera for the first time? This is dramatic. <laughs> um, but it was never anyone telling me, um, Jesus, I'm actually crying. <laughs> It was never anyone telling me what I should do to do better or what they wanted to see from me. It was just always, oh Jesus, I just did my makeup. This is, me and God, okay. Um, oh, I have, oh my God, I have makeup sponges right here. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Like, cool. Um, but yeah, it was never people telling me what I should do to improve or what they wanted to see from me or anything it was just people telling me that it wasn't good that they didn't like it that um it was cringy and it's that I uh, just just a lot and what hurts the most is that it was never in a YouTube comment, you know, like it was never some random person on the internet being like, oh my god, like she's so ugly, oh my god, like she should stop doing YouTube. Like it was never like an internet troll or like an internet like person, like hater, you know. It was always someone that I saw every single day in my classes telling me that in front of a bunch of other people. And I remember, um, I remember just laughing it off and being like, haha, like, whatever, like, that doesn't bother me. Um, like, I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do. But it, I mean, I guess it just carried with me. And now I'm about to be 20, and that happened when, what, I was like 17 or something, and I'm crying about it for the first time because I just realized that that's what happened but um yeah I, I posted a couple videos um recently because of the people that I have in my life um now who are very supportive of me and they encourage me to post and they actually are telling me like I need to post even whenever I'm like I don't want to um, my friend Savannah, she was in one of my videos, and my boyfriend Lucas. Um, I met Lucas, uh, two years ago, and we've been together for a year, and he's always been super supportive. Um, I remember that he told me that he watched my YouTube videos, and he didn't think they were bad. <laughs> um, after that he just kept telling me that I needed to post more, and... Uh, Savannah, she's always telling me that I need to post on YouTube, and I do have, like, friends and, um, like, their family members watch my videos, and they're always telling me that I need to post more, but I guess it was just those, those hateful people that just really got to me, and now, every time I have an idea or any time I'm filming something, I just keep thinking, what if it's not good enough, you know? Um, people aren't gonna like this, people aren't gonna wanna watch this. And I've tried doing like the approach where you film stuff that you watch, which is why I film craft videos, because I love Mariah Elizabeth. Um, literally this was supposed to be an intro to me remaking squishies. I have fabric paint and everything set up because this is what this video was supposed to be an intro to. Um, but that didn't happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I started trying to do uh, stuff that I enjoy watching. 
craft videos um but then i started editing it and i realized that i didn't know what i wanted to say in the voiceover or i realized that it didn't really come out that good or that the camera angle was a little off and i just started really like nitpicking at myself over things that i did not care about when i was having the time of my life posting on youtube i i remember i would be so stupid and create like these ugly horrible videos that i mean i can't even watch to this day like i literally cannot watch my own youtube videos but i remember be having so much fun and not thinking about what people would hate on and just not thinking about what I would think about three years later looking at them you know and it's just it's just discouraging I guess it's just frustrating so um I mean I literally have like what like 12 followers I'm subscribers sorry I'm like obsessed with TikTok now so I keep calling them followers but like 12 subscribers so it's not like anyone's like oh my god like where'd, where'd you been Gabby like you haven't been posting but I mean like there's people you know in in my day-to-day -day life that are like why aren't you posting and yada yada but um so I mean I guess this explains it but um I want to I want to start posting I want to have fun making videos, editing videos, and uploading videos, and I, I want to be able to do those things again and be fulfilled by it, um, and just be happy with creating something that I had fun doing, you know? And I blame it on the fact that I didn't have good editing software for a while. I blame it on the fact that I didn't have a tripod because whenever I was posting in high school I had access to Premiere Pro and then I had access to a tripod and cameras and SD cards and stuff like that so it was easier. But then once I graduated um, I had to obviously turn it back to the school so I don't have a tripod. Um, I don't have many SD cards um, and um, now I have Premiere Pro on my computer because uh, we're in this uh, wonderful quarantine. So all of my classes got moved online so we had to download Adobe for one of my mass comm classes so I downloaded Premiere Pro. So now I have a good software that I can use. Um, I mean I'm using my camera. I have two cameras now thanks to Lucas. Um, but I still don't have a tripod. Um, I'm li you're literally balancing on a James Charles brush set and a candle. Don't believe me? I can show you. Like, like that's how ironic is that that that's this balance? Anyways, um, as I was saying, um, but yeah. So now I have the capabilities of, um, I guess doing it again um i have the time <laughs> um i have the ideas i guess i just don't have the motivation i don't have the drive i guess but but like at the same time i do because it's like i still film things like i still edit things it just never like I guess my insecurities and just my own self prevents me from actually like posting it and following through with it and actually believing that somebody would want to watch it because I guess it's like even though I would want to watch somebody like painting a desk organizer into a makeup brush holder then like just because I want to watch that like I mean I guess it just feels like nobody else would want to watch me do that um and yeah it's like the whole thing of having to find your audience and finding the things that you enjoy creating and finding your thing so then you can find 
your audience. Um, but it's like, I don't know what to do, you know? Like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, I don't know... I just don't know, you know? And I know it's all about trial and error and you just have to do everything step by step and, I mean, nothing's gonna come of anything just overnight. But it's just, I don't know, it's just overwhelming and discouraging. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. But, um, I am going to remake these squishies. <clears throat> Ew. <clears throat> gross phlegm <laughs> but I am gonna remake these squishies because that's what makes me happy to watch I enjoy watching people make over squishies so maybe it'll be relaxing and maybe somebody else will enjoy it but um sorry my camera stopped <laughs> just um annoying filming things um but yeah um If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> whatever this video was, please give it a thumbs up. I mean, if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess comment down below any advice or ideas or anything that you could give to me. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, and if you're in the same boat as me, just don't give up. I've been trying to tell myself that. Just don't give up. I just keep saying that it's not my time. I don't know what I'm meant to do or where I'm meant to be or who is meant to be in my life, but I'm not giving up and I know that everything is going to make sense soon. Maybe not soon, but it's going to make sense at some point. So I'm just looking forward to that time. But, um, I don't know what else to say. Okay, bye.